Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use our Voltstick Bright. Voltstick are the original inventors of the non-contact voltage detector and we were the first to bring it to the market nearly 40 years ago. The Voltstick Bright is the latest in our range and it's the world's first digital Voltstick. The Bright in its name not only refers to the built-in LED torch but also the fact it's actually pretty clever inside. First I'm going to show you what a few of the markings on the Voltstick Bright refer to. The CE and IEC markings mean that this Voltstick meets all the relevant electrical, safety and environmental standards. The UL mark means that this Voltstick also meets the US standards and carries the full UL approval. Cat 3 1000 volts AC. This means that this Voltstick has an over voltage safety rating of 1000 volts in a Cat 3 zone. So all of our Voltsticks have a shirt clip and they're all kept to a nice handy size. This makes the Voltstick Bright an ideal tool for an electrician to keep with them at all times so they can check for voltages in cables, sockets, junction boxes, fuse boards and so on. Okay then, how to use the Voltstick Bright. The most important safety feature of all the Voltsticks in our range is that there's no on off switch. So the Voltstick is always ready to use and you're not going to forget to switch it on. But hang on, I see you've noticed there's a button on this Voltstick, but it's not used to switch the Voltstick on and off. A quick press of the button will turn on the LED torch, and if you hold the button down for two seconds, it will switch between its two sensitivity settings of 230 volts and 20 volts. Every time the Voltstick Bright is used, it will check its batteries, and every time the button is pressed, it will perform a self-check on the sensor and its circuits. Despite these safety features, it's still very important to confirm that your Voltstick is working correctly before you start testing. And the best way to do this is to check the Voltstick against a known live source in the area you're about to work. So this might be a socket, it might be a switch, or it could be the flex to an electrical appliance. But firstly, I'm going to show you how to test if your Voltstick's working correctly using an electrical socket outlet. So hold the Voltstick behind the safety guard. Now the Voltstick Bright is designed with the first sensitivity that will make it possible to show you the live and the neutral. Here you can see the Voltstick lights up red and beeps to show you the presence of a voltage. And you can double check this by just switching the socket on and off. So now we know your Voltstick's working. But if when testing for a voltage, the Voltstick makes an SOS signal, which is three short beeps followed by three long beeps and three more short beeps, this means the batteries are running low and must be changed immediately. Check the instructions on how to do this. Now the Voltstick Bright has two sensitivities. When the Voltstick's not detecting any voltage, hold the button down for two seconds. It will flash and beep twice to let you know it's switched to its more sensitive 20 volt setting. It will then continue to flash to let you know that it's in this second setting. In this setting, the Voltstick will detect voltages down to 20 volts, but it will also detect 230 volts from further away. You will see that the Voltstick will now detect the live from both sides of the socket. After 30 seconds of inactivity, it will beep stop flashing and return to its first setting. Alternatively, you can hold the green button down for two seconds and it will return to the 230 volt setting. So for accurate testing, use its first setting, whereas for a more general overview or where you might need to test lower AC voltages, use the second setting. Please note, only try to switch between the two settings when the volt stick is not detecting a voltage. If you do, and let me demonstrate, the Voltstick will signal a problem by flashing and bleeping the Morse code for SOS. Okay, so a quick tip about the Voltstick tip. The Voltstick will become slightly more sensitive if it's used at an angle rather than end on. So if at first the Voltstick doesn't indicate, try using it from the side. We can check if the Voltstick's working correctly on a light switch. So switch the light on. Move the Voltstick around the switch until it illuminates and beeps. Turn the light off and the Voltstick should turn off. Now you know your Voltstick's working. Okay, another way to check your Voltstick is against the flex attached to an electrical appliance. Remember the Bright is designed to detect 230 volts from around four millimeters. 
So always check all the way around a flex. You will see and hear the volt stick go on and off as the live moves further and closer to the volt stick. So again, here we see the volt stick is working correctly. Okay, if we repeat this test with the volt stick in the second more sensitive setting, we will see that it can now detect the live from further away. It will actually light up along the whole length of the flex. Now that you've confirmed your volt stick is working correctly, you can repeat this procedure on what you need to test. And when you finish testing, always double check the volt stick was working correctly on that known live source again. And also remember, if at any stage you don't get the result that you're expecting from your volt stick, check out our how to use volt stick blog. You can find this along with the whole volt stick range on our website on www.voltstick.com.